Happy New Year, City Life Australia. This is Pastor Joy Bonifacio speaking to you from Every Nation, Singapore. In my last conversation with Pastor Andrew, he had asked me to share a message for you as you start the year. In thinking about what that message is, I'd like to talk to you about the essentials of our faith. The message is coming out of the book of Acts and primarily talking about that moment in the day of Pentecost when the Holy Spirit descended on the disciples. I want to read through the verses in that story and remind you of the essentials of our faith. Acts chapter 2 verse 14 says, Peter stood up with the eleven and raised his voice and addressed the crowd. The crowd that was there were wondering what had happened when the Holy Spirit had descended and came upon the people because they mistook them for people who were drunk. He said, fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you and listen carefully to what I say. Notice where he says, fellow Jews and all those who live in Jerusalem. He was talking to a people who knew the Bible, knew the word of God because they were Jews and they were people who lived in Jerusalem. In verse 15, it says, these people are not drunk. He was explaining what had happened, that the people are not drunk. As you suppose, it is only nine in the morning. No, this is what has been spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. He says, the prophet Joel, as you know, is a book in the Old Testament. And the reference that Peter was giving was the book of Joel. He was teaching literally the Old Testament. In verse 17, it says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Verse 20, verse 17, the second half says, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said, and Peter said to the the other apostles, brothers, what shall we do? It's a very interesting moment here where the Bible says that when he preached the same book of the Old Testament, they were cut to the heart. You see, the cutting of the heart is not us just talking, but the Holy Spirit anointing the words that we're speaking of. These were not New Testament words. These were the very same words in the Old Testament, but it had a different power. The power is coming from the grace that was coming from Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because that's what happens when we declare the truth and the essentials of God's word with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the point of view and the words coming out from the heart of Christ. Acts chapter 2 verse 37 says, when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter, brothers, what shall we do? And here we find the very famous verse that in verse 38, Peter replied, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you yourselves will receive the Holy Spirit. In verse 41, it says, those who accepted the message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. Imagine one message in the power of the Holy Spirit cuts the heart and 3,000 people are added to the church. But what I want to point out to you is the essential of what we do as a church. And we find that in Acts chapter 2 in the next verse, in verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to breaking of bread and to prayer. Notice the words they devoted themselves. The devotion is to set aside. A devotion is to say that I am taking this, these, these things and these are the things that I prioritize. These are the things that I commit myself to. And what are they? It starts with the apostles' teaching. And what was the apostles' teaching? The Old Testament in the power of the Holy Spirit from the lenses of the teachings of Christ. Back in those days, people did not have notebooks or podcasts or videos They meditated on the word day and night. That's the essential that we should be doing as the people of God, devoted to the teachings of the word of God according to the power of the Holy Spirit from the lenses of the teachings of Christ, and we meditate on that day and night. Secondly, they were devoted to fellowship. And fellowship means that we come together. The importance of gathering together as a church, whether online or offline, whether one-on-one in a coffee shop or as a family at home, people who meditate on the word and fellowship together based on that word. Third, the breaking of bread. 
What that simply means is the proclamation of the gospel. Every time you know this later, we will see that they shared meals together, but the proclamation of the word or the breaking of bread is really the acknowledgement that Jesus has come and he has saved us. And these are the essentials when we meditate, when we fellowship, when we proclaim, and finally to prayer, when we pray. When you look at these four essentials, you find the essentials of our faith. Pray, meditate on the word, proclaim the gospel, and fellowship. My hope is that you start 2021 that you will focus on these essentials. Many times we focus on a lot of the fundamentals and a lot of the experiences rather than the essentials. To pray is to seek God with all our hearts. To pray, to meditate is to get that word, to renew our minds and to fulfill that word and obey that word. To proclaim is to know that regardless of how good we are, we will fail because we are human. And thus we have the reality of Jesus, that there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And finally, the ecosystem of prayer of the word and the proclamation of the gospel is fellowship. Notice what happens in verse 43. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. When we focus not on fundamentals or experiences, but on the essentials. What we will find is everyone, everyone, everyone will be filled with awe. And many wonders and signs will be performed. Signs and wonders follow a life that is lived out with the essentials. When we pray, we will find the miracles of God, not just in the church service, but anywhere and everywhere we go. When we meditate on the word, we will find the wisdom of God and the signs and wonders of God working in our personal lives will manifest. Notice where it says in verses 44 and 45, all the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. All the believers were together. There was unity and they had everything in common. There was common unity. That's where we get the words common unity or community. Community is actually the basis for fellowship. The reality that we make ourselves available to the people of God. We accept people and one another because of what God has done for us, not because of our similarities or our sameness, but the fact that we have common unity that comes from knowing who our God is, that comes from praying and meditating and proclaiming and fellowshipping with one another. Further, it says they sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had a need. Not only was this a semblance of community and gathering, there was love, and more importantly, there was generosity. Community, signs and wonders, love and generosity. The marks and the results when we live life out with the essentials of prayer, meditating on the word, proclaiming the gospel, and fellowship. In verse 46, it says, every day they continued to meet together. In temple courts, they broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. Let me break this down for you. The essentials are meant to be done every day, which means any time. <laughs> it's not supposed to be just a Sunday. It's not just supposed to be when we feel like it. It's any time. Washing your dishes, pray. When you're in the commute, meditate on the word of God. When you're in the office, proclaim the gospel to yourself and to others. When you have time to fellowship, whether online or offline, whether you're having a meal or having coffee, keep doing it anytime. It says they continued to meet together. It wasn't just something that they did every day or anytime, but they did it all the time. This is the power of the essentials. We do it anytime, if not all the time. It says they broke bread in their homes and ate together. There's, there you go. The difference between breaking bread and eating together in temple courts and in their homes. In other words, it's not just any time, all the time, but it's anywhere. And finally, they did it with glad and sincere hearts. Notice what it says. They did this anytime, all the time, anywhere with the right attitude. These are the things that we do when we live out the essentials of our faith. Verse 47 says, they praised God and enjoyed the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. The result of all of this is the praise of God and the worship of God. Very often we try to start with praising God, and that's not a bad thing, but when we pray to God long before we go to church or long before we get into community, when we meditate on that word day and night, regardless of whether it's a Sunday, a Monday, a Tuesday, or a Wednesday, what happens is the result is community. Signs and wonders, love and generosity, and more importantly, 
the praise and the worship of God. Further, it says they enjoy the favor of all the people and the Lord added to their number daily those who are being saved. The goal is not to grow our church. That is but an outworking of living out the essentials of our faith. When we live with the essentials of pray, meditate, proclaim, and fellowship, we will see common unity. We will see signs and wonders. We will see love and generosity. We will see the honor and the praise and the worship of our God, which will result in increase and growth. Live out your essentials in 2021. God bless you guys. Let me close with a word of prayer. I pray that 2021 will be the year of essentials for City Life Church, Melbourne, Australia. Father, we just thank you for 2021. We thank you for a great year of 2020, showing us, God, that regardless of what happens on this earth, you are in control. You are for us and not against us. And I pray and decree and declare 2021 will yet be even greater than last year and years previous to that. In Jesus' name we pray, and everyone said, Amen. 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 The essentials of our faith, something that we can never neglect as a follower of Christ. Well, good morning, church. My name is Derek, Derek Young. I'm part of the team here at Knox. And with me is Cindy Leung. Cindy has been part of our kids' pastoral team for 12 years. And this year, she joins our adult pastoral team. So join me in welcoming Cindy to the team. Well, Cindy, it's great. Thank you. (laughs) Great to have you on the team. What do you think of the message? Wow, what an amazing exposition of the Acts 2. And Joy put it into such, you know, into simple terms for us to better understand from the early church and how to live out the essentials of our faith, pray, meditate on the Word, and proclaim the um, gospel as breaking the bread, and fellowship. And she mentioned and encouraged us, we are to live out our essentials anytime, all the time, and anywhere with the right heart attitude. And it would be really great to see how we can put this into the next step, not just, you know, talking the talk, but how we can actually put it into our actions. So true. You know, I, I believe Joey's message this morning is it's an exhortation. You know, exhortation not only encourages and teaches, but it also confronts and challenges us. And I believe the challenge in Joey's message today is that we are not only the church, but we need to be the church. And that being translates to living out those four essentials and what we commonly term or refer to in City Life as our daily rhythms in our walk with God that God so desired of each of us. So we're going to spend a moment at this time just to reflect, to honestly reflect individually how you are progressing in each of those four areas. Prayer, God's Word, God's mission, and fellowship with God's people. And not only that, identify, decide on one area that you and I can work on this year move on to commit to do something to commit to a next step commit to a practical thing that you can do in 2021 that's great if the area of next step for you this year is in the area of prayer because Jesus told us in 1 Thessalonians pray without ceasing because this is the will of God. And if this is the area that God speaks to you, why don't we follow a few, you know, practical things that we can consider? Adding into your personal calendar, and we've got soft copy and hard copy hanging on the wall, all different ways. And just, you know, they'll put it into your daily rhythm so that it can remind you, give you alert. And in fact, this morning, I got my own alert as well. And you you get to pray, you know, as you know, a long time with God, but also you can pray with your family and with a small group gathering together as well. Or 
you can join us in our church weekly prayer meeting over Zoom just for a half an hour starting next month at all sites where we get together to pray with um, pray for the church and community and cities and nations. Or even you can consider to join in intercessory prayer team. We get to invest in our prayers for our church. Or learn to pray anytime, all the time, anywhere, as Joy mentioned. It's like, you know, cultivating the habit of talking to God anytime. We don't need to be legalistic about prayer. And the Word. You know, Jesus said, man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the word, mouth of God. You know, if you're struggling, just to find time to read the Word. Can I encourage you with the convenience of technology? You know, I have a Bible app. And with that, you can access God's Word anytime, anywhere. You know, for some of us, we may be struggling to understand as we read God's Word. There are plenty of tools out there. You've got daily devotions, which helps you to bring out the truth of God's Word through illustrations, through stories. And of course, there are Bible reading plans that you can follow. There are reading plans that relates to a topic like God's grace, fear, and also sin, prayer. There's also topics and reading plans that relates to a life challenge like grief, like pain, and loss. There are reading plans that relates to a life stage, marriage, singleness, or parenthood. So pick one and discover what God has to say in your situation. For some of us, we have always had the desire to be more grounded in God's Word. Well, join us. Sign up for Life Tracks next month as we start on the 27th of February. Join a Bible study life group. Join a Bible study program like BSF, Bible Study Fellowship or KYB. Know your Bible. Right. Do something to enrich yourself with God's truth. Right so true there's are many different options that we can consider and if the next step area for you to consider that God's speaking to you is the area of engaging with God to proclaim the gospel um, why don't we why don't we um, consider those you know five missional practices of blessed challenge that we talked about that's the area that we feel that like, you know, oh God, I haven't had any of you or, you know, any church in my, any conversation with other people or I haven't had any social interaction with those um, who are not churched or not um, coming into the faith yet. And you have a heavy burden for those loved ones and your friends. You know, this is a great way to get to practice. And that, that challenge starts with, you know, begin with a prayer. And, you know, pray for the opportunities. Pray for the open hearts. And when you get to connect, you listen to their stories. And eating together, important. You may have to look a bit COVID-safe-wise for this year. Um, but, you know, when, whenever we have fellowship over meals, it always creates comfortable environment for conversations. And seek out the opportunity to serve out God's love and offer help and need and see their need and ultimately in God's timing and share your stories share our stories as we prompted and there's another practical um, way to get involved is to sign up to help in community outreach and missions and just simply invite your own church friends or family to church or send the service, online service link to them. It's just one click away or invite them to come along to your life group social gatherings. And last but not least, fellowship. You know, this is where we live out and obey the commandment, the greatest commandment to love God and love people. But if you're one of them, who have not settled into a local church. We love you to be part of our community here in City Life. But if it is not City Life, make sure you find a local church and get involved in church life. And of course, there's life groups. In City Life, we are big on life groups. You know, I believe life groups is where you experience true community. It is where you live out and experience the, one, the 59 one another verses in the New Testament. Love one another, encourage, instruct, 
pray for one another, spur one another, and so forth, right? So make it a priority this year if you are not involved or have not tried out life group, right? But also there are some here, I believe, you may have been disappointed by life groups. Please do not stop that, stop you from finding a different one, trying a different one. Do not let that rob you of the true community that you need as a Christ follower. And for some of us, if you need any help looking for a life group, well, please talk to any of our pastors. We'd love to help you to connect with one. And in fact, what you can do is to text this word life group to our general number 04888 and we'll get in touch with you and find you a group that would suit your preference. Now, I hope that all the practical things that we have shared today on those four areas are helpful. But it needs a response. And before we close in prayer, I'd like to invite those who are in our midst to stand. And for you who are joining us online, to join us as we spend time to reflect in these four areas. How's your prayer life? Where's God's Word in your daily schedule? Are, you, are your eyes open to the opportunities that God brings before you in engaging with Him in His mission? And are you experiencing true community? So as you reflect on these, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. Only you know where you stand. And more importantly, commit to do something. Commit to a next step. And whatever it is, give it a go this year. His righteousness and all these things will be given to you. Father God, thank you so much. We can come into your presence with such confidence, not because of who we are, but because of what you have done for us, Lord God. Father God, we want to bring our commitment that we want to put all of these, you know, the essentials of our faith, Lord God, into action, Lord Jesus. Help us to grow deeper and more discipline in the life of prayer and your word and the gospel and fellowship, Lord Jesus. And as this year we come as an open book, Lord Jesus, we allow your Holy Spirit, you to write the stories, all different stories in our book, Lord Jesus. There's no limit what you can do, Lord God. So Father God, we want to step into 2021 with the confidence that comes from you, Lord Jesus, in the posture that we fix our eyes on you, then everything will be given to us, Lord God, because of your power and because of your faithful promise, Lord Jesus. So Father God, continue to speak to us. Continue to walk with us and help us to follow the steps that you have gone before us, Lord God. And we know that this year is going to bring lots of stories of victory because of what you're going to do through each one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's just in this space of the presence of God, let's just continue to press into Him open our hearts to what He wants to stay, what He wants to speak to us right now. This is the air I breathe. 
This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence, living. Time to sing, I'm desperate for you. And I. 